Hi guys, I want to talk about plagiarism and tech degrees today. So here's the thing, I'm starting my master's degree in information systems engineering and a lot of this stuff comes up when you're getting into a new university is don't plagiarize, don't plagiarize, right? And then you start to wonder what really constitutes plagiarism. Now I went through this once before, you know, on my bachelor's degree with information technology and I want to talk specifically about plagiarism in code. So there are a few levels of, of cheating here, and some are not really cheating, some are not even really considered cheating. Uh, one level is uh, what's morally wrong, right? What is morally wrong to do? Another level is what is against the rules of the class. And another level would be what shouldn't be wrong but for some reason is. So I want to start with the most famous thing is that should you be able to Google answers to your assignments when it comes to programming and my answer is i think you should right now i'm not a professor and if the professor says no well you better be careful but the thing is at work i google stuff every single day i don't know if i've had a day of work yet where i didn't google at least one thing now what's with tests then right why why are uh, tests not letting you google if that's the real world well here's a little thing about college, a little secret that you may not have thought of. When you go to college, you might think you're going there to prove that you can meet a certain set of standards in order to basically do the job that requires you to be at that standard. So that's not really how it is if you think about it. What college really is, is we need future professionals and if we don't get them, we would have a problem. So we have so many people that say they want to do this and so many people that based on these sets of standards will let in. And beyond that point, we have to pick some of them that are going to go on and be our new doctors and engineers and lawyers, right? We can't just deny all of them because, well, then we'd have a generation that didn't have doctors and engineers and lawyers and we need to have them. So that's why sometimes you'll have classes that actually, you know, you, everybody failed, right? 60% was highest grade in the class. Still, half the class passes, right? Because what, are you just not gonna have any more programmers? No programmers this year, sorry guys. We'll just have to wait for next year, see if they do a little bit better. So that's not how it works, really. We've got a group of people and we're picking the best ones, right? A little bit, a little bit of a tangent there, let's go back to the topic. So yes, you're absolutely being tried in environments that are not necessarily fair because it's kind of a survival game, really. It's trying to mimic real life, but sometimes you can't really mimic real life, right? So you, you just have to pit people against each other and do these little contests and see who comes out on top to pick who's gonna be the next doctor and lawyer or who's not gonna be that. So that's basically what's going on. So you can't expect school to be like real life, I guess is what I'm saying. Now, what should constitute plagiarism? If I copy my friends, who is another student, if I copy their code for an assignment, yeah, I think that that's morally wrong and it should go against the rules because you didn't actually do that work. It was actually somebody else's assignment. You could make the argument that your ability to persuade that person into giving you what you wanted proves that you have you know, ability. But in the end, it's not gonna prove your ability as a programmer because when you go to work in, in real life, if you're paying somebody else to do all of your work or convincing them, well, the company really should just hire that person, right? That's not the kind of person that we really want in the tech industry as somebody who's just trying to grab other people's work and present it as their own. For obvious reasons, a lot of people in, in the industry get a little bit burned that way when somebody else takes credit for what they've done. So. Anyway, what if you just look at someone else's code, right? Then is that a bad thing? If you are stuck at one part of it and you look at their code and it helps you through a little bit, especially if, you know, obviously their code's not gonna be the same as your code up to that point. Well, I personally don't think that that's morally wrong, but it may be against the rules. It certainly was at my university. We were not supposed to look at other students' code. You know, that's something that I would not do even if I wanted to. Uh, and it kind of goes the other way where even if you're finished and you promise like I'm not going, you know, I've already done my assignment. I just want to give them pointers and I'm not going to tell them exactly how to do it. You're still not technically allowed to do it. Should be morally okay, right? Programmers help each other out all the time. So it's one of those things that you kind of have to make the judgment morally and 
as far as practically what you're going to do. Are you going to risk breaking the rules even though you don't agree with them? Still, are you going to risk breaking them when that could damage your career if you were found to have done that? So another thing I'm going to get to is in writing even. You're going to write no matter what degree you do. With plagiarism basically says you can't take someone else's idea and use it as your own. You can't paraphrase it. You need to put it in quotes and uh, basically give them the credit. Now, here's the thing. If I did that, everything I wrote, my entire paper would just be in quotes. Everything I've ever learned since I was born came from someone else, somewhere. Aside from perhaps me kind of looking out into the trees and having a, a few thoughts of my own maybe, that bird is pretty. There's not much out there that I didn't learn from another person. And this, to me, is a little bit problematic going into a master's degree because, you know, I have worked on stuff and I, I learned something. Now, I may have learned it from my bachelor's degree three years ago. I might have learned it from someone I worked with. I mean, for one, if I know I learned it from them, do I have to quote them? Well, was it their original idea? Who did they learn it from? Or can I just kind of let that go if I learned it at work, considering it's not like a published thing? I would think that that one would be okay. But it doesn't make much sense to me that you have to quote things that aren't your original idea because I don't think anything is anyone's original idea these days, at least very few things. So the thing I can say is this is just a gray area line that you have to walk a lot of times. And I don't recommend paraphrasing things that you saw directly on the internet. If you got it off the internet, just cite the source, I'd say. Now what if you see it on the internet but it's not Wikipedia? Well then follow to the source, try your best. If not, maybe just move on to other ideas even if it was a little your idea. You just have to be careful, that's all I can say. And I, I definitely will say I think it's kind of dumb, personally. I, I think it's stupid that we have such stringent rules. And I get why, because we had people that decided, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna copy you know, other people's work, copy paste my essay, and then I'm done, right? And because of that, now, you know, they're going to have rules. And then people are going to be like, okay, I'm not going to copy a whole essay. I'm just going to copy paragraphs from different websites. And now we have things that say anything from anything else, any idea that is not anyone else's, you know, you have to cite it as a source. And so somebody like me who's legitimately trying to do the work, now I'm scared. I'm like, well, I don't want to be misaligned. I'm legitimately doing this, but I don't want to get myself into trouble when I had no intention to and wasn't doing anything wrong. So yeah, if you're going into some kind of writing or something, I feel your pain there because I'm doing the same thing. And, you know, I'm again, information systems engineering, it's not going to be all writing, but there's going to be some writing in there. I mean, it's a master's degree, so I'm going to have to write. That's just how it is. But that is my feeling on it. As far, again, going back to coding, you have to make your own decisions on this kind of thing. Are you going to help your friend out? Are you going to give them your code? Uh, are you going to try to copy off their test? Are you going to look at old tests? Well, I have a few things for you. One, if somebody says you can't use Google, that's a kind of a not a great sign to the professor for you know for me because if that professor couldn't write a problem that was unique enough that it couldn't be solved just with one page on Google that they can copy paste that's not a very creative professor it's not that difficult to think of a problem that can't just be solved on Google and I'll give you an example I taught a STEM academy and I actually had a student that did this and I knew it right away because one I saw that what they had pasted in there was over their level, right? It was more advanced than what they knew. Two, I could see that it was solving a different problem. It was somewhat similar to the problem I had given them, but it wasn't the same problem. Uh, beyond that, helping other people, I think that that's your moral decision. You have to make it. Uh, when, you, when you're Googling things, you probably you know don't wanna just copy paste off Google anyway, because you're gonna to wanna to understand uh, what you're learning, basically. So those are my thoughts on plagiarism. I, you can tell I don't have super positive feelings towards it because it's kind of something that is a thorn in your side if you're an honest student. And sometimes it sets unreasonable rules. And I understand that's because people try to take advantage of the system and that's just how it is. So thanks, thanks for watching. If, if you like this video, 
uh, give me a like or subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I like to do more videos like this. And uh, if you like them too, please subscribe. It makes a big difference to me. All right, have a good day. Thank you.